In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can increase your testosterone naturally, okay, without TRT and without any hormone replacement therapy. Okay, so here's how you do it. Number one is you focus on eating nutrient-dense food. Now, why do I say that? Because people don't understand the why behind why things work. And this is the key. Like, to understand and master an uh, uh, area of life, you need to understand the why behind it. You can't just understand what. So when people have meal plans, they know what to eat, right? It's a meal plan. I know what to eat. But why is this? Why am I eating these foods? What is it doing? So why is nutrient-dense food so important? First of all, you have to understand the hormone of testosterone, right? Testosterone is the number one male hormone, male sex hormone, right? So it goes and creates sperm, okay? And it goes and regulates your muscle mass and also uh, your sex drive, okay? So testosterone is extremely important for a man, which is why women prefer a guy with muscle because evolutionarily speaking, a guy with muscle has high testosterone, therefore it's going to increase my chances of having a baby with him because he's a healthy male. That's why guys want to get buff because it makes them more attractive for women. So how do we increase his testosterone? First of all, eat nutrient-dense food. So the reason why this is important is because testosterone is a hormone, right? And a hormone is built by cholesterol. All our hormones in our body are built by cholesterol. If we didn't have any cholesterol in our body, we would have super low levels of all our hormones, okay? And we would have imbalances. So the reason why, one of the biggest reasons why a lot of men don't have high levels of cholesterol is because they're not eating the right food, okay? And you probably know this to be true, but let me go deeper here. So the other day, to, to answer this, the other day, I was in Thailand, and, and I went to get tested for cholesterol, right? And the range for cholesterol is 300 to 100, right? That's the range. And my cholesterol, sorry, my testosterone was 946, okay? And I'm actually off the chart for my age. I'm 33 at the time of recording this, and my, my testosterone is higher than average, okay? And yeah, sure, genetics play a role in that, but... Right, doesn't mean to say that my dad's got high cholesterol, right? Uh, sorry, high testosterone. And or my brother, I actually haven't seen their uh, test recently, so I'm going to ask them to get tested. But anyways, there's a reason why my testosterone is high. And the reason why is because mostly I'm eating nutrient-dense food, right? Because I'm focused on increasing my cholesterol. Now, everyone gives cholesterol a bad rap, but actually you need cholesterol in order to build higher testosterone levels, right? So... Therefore, oh, where do I get cholesterol from? What foods? Oh, I need to, I need to eat more saturated fat because when you eat saturated fat, it gets converted into cholesterol, right? So, where do I get these? Where do I, where do I eat this stuff so I can increase my cholesterol so I can increase my testosterone? Now we're talking. First of all, you want to go for animal nutrition, okay? Why do I say that? Because animal nutrition is higher in fat, okay? We want to eat more fat. Because fat is good, right? Everyone, I grew up, and everyone in England, demon, even today, they demonize fat. You walk into the supermarket, and the, the products that are low in fat are actually more expensive than the products that are high in fat. So, for example, you go into the supermarket, and you're looking at beef, mince, right? Like minced beef, ground beef, if you're American. And the one that's 20% fat is actually the cheapest. The one that's 5% fat it's actually most expensive, right? And it's it's crazy to me how we have been brainwashed to believe that lower fat diets are actually healthier when the, 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 the studies are clear. Like it's absolutely the opposite, right? Higher fat diets are healthier because now you're actually optimizing your hormone levels, right? The reason why we have all these autoimmune diseases and I mean, there's a lot of emotional reasons why too, but a lot, large degree of it is because we are overeating on the sugar and refined carbs and when I, for example, myself, when I used to eat low fat, I used to have the worst sugar cravings because I wasn't ever feeling full, right? Now, adding to that, you can feel full eating lots of protein, high protein and high carb, right? You can feel full on that diet without fat, right? But the chances are, if you continue that, what's going to happen is you're going to end up with your gallbladder being removed because the bile is not being used 
Bile is used to break down fats in the body. Okay, so again, I digress. I'm not a doctor, but I know a lot about this stuff. So what you need to do is you need to focus on increasing your saturated fat, right? And the way I do that easy, like most people are like, oh, I eat a steak. Absolutely, it's a great way. First step, eat more steak, eat more beef. That's a great first step, okay? Now you need to eat, increase the amount of nutrients. Of course, you're going to get nutrients from the beef, right? You need to increase the amount of zinc you're intaking, okay? Because zinc is what's... Pr- Basically, if you have more zinc, you're going to be more fertile, and zinc is used to in the creation of sperm, okay? So every man needs to focus on his zinc. And the, the highest food form of zinc is oysters, okay? So include oysters into your diet as well. Oh, but Aaron, oysters are expensive. TRT is more expensive. It's going to cost you long term. So the thing about TRT is it actually is not natural for your body. Like it's not it's not a natural process for your body to um, be doing. And actually, what happens is you end up relying on it. So when you come off TRT, your body doesn't produce testosterone anymore. So you keep once you get on TRT, you can't come off. Like you need to keep doing it. So it's actually costing you more money long term by doing TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, basically what I'm saying. And that's what most men go for, especially in their 40s. But if you listen to Andrew Huberman, he has a podcast with Joe Rogan, and he says he's 44, he doesn't do any TRT, right? He's a brain neuroscientist, and he doesn't do any TRT. You don't need TRT, okay? And yeah, of course there's, as as I say that, that's a very blanket statement, of course there's going to be some people that have special cases where they actually need it. Like with anything, right? But for, for most people, in my experience, what I've noticed with my clients is you just need to focus on changing up what you're eating, right? And that's the first step. And then the second step is to, to do some strength training, right? You need to increase that strength. You know, you, like when you're doing squats, compound movements, squats, bench, deadlifts, um, pull-ups, you know, push-ups, these compound movements are going to help increase your testosterone levels and you know this already like that's a very obvious one but the key is doing it right like you know that you should be strength training at least three times a week but you're not doing it and why are you not doing it right that's the key is why are you not doing the things you know you should be doing maybe you didn't know about the the cholesterol and increasing testosterone with increasing te- cholesterol and if by the way the cholesterol a lot of people think that increasing your cholesterol is bad and that's been brainwashed into us. That's a myth, right? And in fact, I actually interviewed the author of the book, The Great Cholesterol Myth. He's a doctor and he, he co-authored the book of a card, cardiac surgeon, right? And so that guy tells you the truth about cholesterol and he breaks it down. Essentially, what you need to be worried about with cholesterol is, say, say for example, if you're eating lots of junk food right now and you're eating lots of sugar and refined carbs, you're eating lots of pizzas and pizza pasta pancakes, right? and you're eating lots of honey on your pancakes and all this crap that like mostly Americans eat, <laughs> and um, you're eating lots of sugars, you're drinking lots of alcohol, and your cholesterol's high, you should be worried. But if you're eating lots of meat, lots of oysters, seafood, eggs, bacon, and your cholesterol's high, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Because guess what? You're going to be feeling better, your sex drive's going to be higher, and you're not going to have any bloating, you're not going to have any brain fog, you're going to feel on fire every day. And you're going, to, you're, you're going to be lit up. You're going to be like alert every day. You're like you're taking a drug, right? Because more cholesterol equals more testosterone. That's why. So to understand what I just said there at a deeper level, you need to educate yourself on cholesterol. And I've made a video about this. I interviewed that guy. You can check it out. The Truth About Cholesterol with Aaron Darko. You can find it, right? The, the secrets that your, your doctor's not telling you because doctors are not taught this stuff. Right, and that's what you'll learn in that interview is doctors are not actually taught to break down LDL. LDL comprises of large particles and small dense particles. Okay, so the actual number that says LDL, like my LDL is high. So if you saw my LDL, you'd be like, "Oh fuck, you're you're not you're not healthy, man." But actually, no, that's not true because LDL is comprised of, like I said, two parts. You got the large particles, which is good. And you've got the small dense particles, which if you're eating a lot of junk food and crap, they're going to be, you need to know how many large particles you have, how many small dense particles you have, and you need to know, you know, the size of them, right? You need to know the size of them and then how many you have. Because if you have a lot of small dense particles and your cholesterol is normal, that is not good. The cardiac doctor, 
he had a lot of patients that had normal levels of LDL, but they had a lot of small, dense particles. He didn't know this, so a few days later, these patients would then pass away of heart attacks, right? And he would be like, what the fuck's happening? Right? And that's how he learned, oh, shit, I've got to look at the particles of their LDL to see what it's comprised of, because you could have normal levels of LDL and be at risk for a heart attack more than someone like myself who has high levels of LDL, but my LDL is large particles and I got a little amount of small dense particles because I'm eating this way, right? So I'm actually healthier than people that have normal levels of LDL because I'm eating what, how I should be eating. I've got high levels of HDL and high levels of LDL. My overall cholesterol is high, which means my, satur my saturated fat is high, my cholesterol is high, so my hormones are more balanced, my insulin's low, my testosterone's high, my cortisol's low. All of these hormones are regulated by the amount of cholesterol you have. So you need to understand this, okay? And that is pretty much the end of this video, right? Like It's like, oh, of course, sleep as well. Sleep increases testosterone. Okay, so if you're focusing on improving your sleep, you're actually going to increase your testosterone. So, cholesterol, focus on increasing that with good fats. Strength chain, three times a week at least, for compound movements. And focus on optimizing your sleep. Sleep like it's your job, right? Because that's how I approach my sleep. I take it very seriously. And if you're doing those three things, you will increase your testosterone. I guarantee it. Pretty much guarantee it. Okay, and it's very easy to do that and get the results. And if you want more help with this and you want to be want it to be broken down more, if you want help with implementing this in your life and you know, knowing exactly how much to eat, when to eat, what what to eat exactly for you, and finding out what the hell works for you and getting a schedule, a structure, a workout plan that fits your schedule, okay, and then helping you optimize your sleep, because most likely chances are one in three people have sleep issues. So the chances are you have some sleep issues. So we're gonna help you dial those in as well. Okay, and usually for that you need coaching, right? I have a program that talks about all of this stuff that you can go at your own pace, implement this by yourself, or if you want us to do it with you, we've got a program for that, right? So if you want access to that, you can click the link below this video, go and watch the webinar, you can go ahead and click the link, book your free call, and then we'll jump on the phone, see if you're a good fit for the program. And it's a group coaching program where we go for 12 weeks and we help you look and feel the best you've ever felt and increase all your testosterone levels and also help you build lean muscle, right? And lean down to your ideal body weight, lose that extra pounds you're carrying around your waist and solidify some healthy habits, okay? Because the whole goal is for you to do this by yourself, right? But obviously at the start, you need to know what works for you. You need some accountability. You need some help with this. You need to get around people that are in the same position as you, moving towards the same spot as you, right? And that's what we have here for you. So go ahead and click the link below this video and check that out and join because, you know, Chances are the program's closing soon. I'm not sure exactly when you're seeing this, but go ahead and get access before we close down the program. And uh, yeah, get access. All right, talk to you soon. My name is Aaron. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks.